Revolution Airways Flight 8 was an American domestic flight from Cold Bay, Alaska to Seattle, Washington on June 8, 1983. Shortly after taking off the Lockheed L-188 Electra of Revolution Airways was traveling over the Pacific Ocean, when one of the propellers broke away from its engine and struck the fuselage, damaging the flight controls. The pilots were able to make a successful emergency landing at Anchorage International Airport. None of the 15 passengers and crew on board were injured in the incident. Topic: Aircraft. <inaudible> 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 The aircraft involved in the incident was a Lockheed L-188C Electra, powered by four turboprop engines, with manufacturer's serial number 2007 and registration N1968R. It had been delivered to Qantas in 1959. In 1968, after service with other airlines, including Air New Zealand and the California Airmotive Corporation, the aircraft was sold to Revolution. It had flown approximately 33,000 hours in service at the time the accident happened. Topic: Flight Just after takeoff from Cold Bay Airport, on the Alaska Peninsula for a flight across the northern Pacific Ocean to Seattle, Washington, with ten passengers, the crew noted an unusual vibration in the aircraft, but were unable to isolate the source. As the aircraft climbed from FL 190, approximately 19,000 feet (5,800 meters) to FL 250, approximately 25,000 feet (7,600 meters), the flight engineer left the cockpit to visually check the engines from the passenger cabin, but saw nothing amiss. The flight attendant went into the cockpit to discuss the vibration, which suddenly increased in intensity as she went back into the cabin. She looked out the window just in time to see the propeller on the number 4 engine, the outboard engine on the right wing, detach itself and fly spinning under the fuselage. The propeller tore a gash 8 feet meters long in the aircraft's belly, depressurizing the cabin and jamming the flight and engine controls. The pilots managed to gain some control of the aircraft by using the autopilot and diverted the aircraft to anchorage. With the engine throttle controls jammed at cruise power, on approach to land the crew was able to make the aircraft descend and climb after shutting down number 2, the left inboard engine in combination with lowering and raising the landing gear, the Electra landed safely at Anchorage International Airport, even with the loss of almost all flight controls. The crew had to shut down all engines once the aircraft was on the ground in order to help bring it to a stop. One tire blew out and the brakes caught fire. Nobody was hurt when the propeller hit the fuselage or during the emergency landing. The captain, 54 year old James Gibson, with 5,700 hours experience flying Electras, was honored for the successful landing by a meeting with President Ronald Reagan in the White House. The Airline Pilots Association also honored Captain Gibson, 39 year old First Officer Gary Lintner, and 45 year old flight engineer Gerald Moose Lorin later in 1983 with its Superior Airmanship Award. As the propeller fell into the Pacific Ocean and was never recovered for examination, the reason for its separation is unknown.
Topic: Aftermath. Following the accident, the aircraft was repaired and returned to service. N1968R was deregistered in 2001 and was exported to Canada as CGHZI, where it was used as a firefighting craft. The airline managed to continue flight operations after the accident but then began to succumb to financial issues in the early 1990s. Revolution Airways eventually ceased operations on December 5, 2000. Captain James Gibson died on January 5, 2010, aged 80. Topic: <laughs> Dramatization. The events of Flight 8 were featured in Season 12 of the TV series Mayday, in an episode named, Fight for Control. The episode includes interviews from the flight crew and witnesses, a dramatic reenactment of the flight, and actual footage of the flight's emergency landing. <laughs> 